Hello students. In this video, let us discuss about the next long answer question from nuclei chapter. Explain the principle and working of nuclear reactor with help of labeled diagram. He already mentioned labeled diagram. So compulsory you have to learn the diagram. Diagram carries marks. Right? So first let us write the principle. Okay? So nuclear reactor works on principle of controlled chain reaction. Okay? Now next write, draw the diagram okay now first let us go for the construction so the main parts of nuclear reactor are fuel moderator control rods protective shielding coolant now one after other let us discuss about this first fuel nothing but uranium U-235, the material which undergoes fission process, we call it as fuel. Next to moderator, during fission process, neutrons are released. That neutrons will have very high speed. So, in order to control that speed or in order to slow down the speed, speed of neutrons moderator is used so as moderator graphite or d2o is used so material which slows down the first moving neutrons is called moderator right now next control rods okay next control rods so here Number of neutrons will be released in the fusion process. It is a chain process. Now we have to control that chain process. So first three neutrons will be released. That three neutrons will go and collide with three uranium atoms. So it multiplies. So nine neutrons will be released. That 9 neutrons will go and collide or bombard with 9 uranium atoms. So, 27 neutrons are released. So, in such a way, multiple neutrons, a chain reaction is produced. So, this uncontrolled chain reaction creates many disadvantages. So, but if we can control this, then it can be used to for useful purposes such as generating the nuclear electricity. Okay. So, now here control rods controls that particular neutrons. So, control rods are cadmium and boron. The rods which, how they control the neutrons? They absorb the neutrons. The rods absorb the neutrons to control the chain reaction. We call it as control rods. Alright. Now next one. Protective shielding. Now during fusion process. Sorry. Fusion process. Alpha beta radiations are emitted. If they are mixed up with the atmosphere. Then these harmful radiations will create many disadvantages to the mankind. As well as the nature. So, in order to avoid that, we require a protective shielding. So, how they do? They use the cement and lead. Walls, okay, the construction with the cement and lead around the reactor protects from harmful radiations. And we call that wall as a protective shielding. Next, coolant. During fission process. Enormous amount of energy is released. Right? Uranium, when bombarded with a neutron, it breaks into barium and krypton. Three neutrons are released. Along that, enormous amount of energy is released. 
okay that is the heat is generated that heat is absorbed by this water at high pressure or we use molten sodium also and water gets heated up and that we call it as steam okay that steam is removed by this continuous circulation of coolant see here here when heat is absorbed by that particular water at high pressure it converts into steam and that steam is sent out and again through water inlet again the water or molten sodium is sent into the reactor the process continues so now here the liquid which removes the heat generated by the reactor is called coolant as coolant we use water at high pressure and molten sodium so this is about construction no working so first uranium is converted into rods and that rods are placed in aluminium cylinders okay uranium fuel rods are arranged in aluminium cylinders next the graphite moderator is placed in between these fuel rods now when uranium undergoes fission as usual first neutrons are released now these neutrons pass through this moderator graphite so that they lose their energy and they slow down okay now the heat generated during this process produces steam and this steam is used to rotate the turbines and thereby produces electric power in such a way nuclear electricity is produced by control chain reaction so this easy notes and diagram are for future learners i hope it makes easy to learn this long answer question if you like my video like it share it subscribe my channel thank you for watching your reshma physics